Hey guys, on today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to install apps into your Mac. This is whether you have an iMac, MacBook Pro, MacBook Retina Display, Air, uh, Mac Mini, whichever you have, same way, on whichever OS you have, same thing. Right now the OS I'm running is actually Matrix, uh, so we're going to have the updated one. Same type of deal anyways, it's always going to be the same basically. Once you download an app, okay whether it's an external page there's different ways of installing okay so I downloaded uh, virtual DJ okay so it goes right into my downloads folder so I'm not gonna open it from here I'm gonna open it from my downloads just to let you guys see okay so on my downloads it's right here it's package if you get something like that just double click on it and just go through the process if uh, you get an icon such as something like this okay right here um, if you double click on it okay this is not an actual program so it's gonna open like this but you will see this icon right here that appears on your desktop okay so basically right here it's only going to show you maybe a logo from something and all you have to do is drag and drop it into your applications so here's my applications if I go into them I can just drag and drop if I get an icon such as this one for example um, the way to install this one right here is actually just to drag and drop onto the applications folder and that's it and then it'll work so most apps are like that other ones I'm going to show you the process to go through it okay um, in a second just want to show you another way okay usually in the best way to get apps it's usually from your app store so app store you know if you don't see it down there just type it up here app store and you're gonna see it from here you can download apps for your Mac okay so I want to give you a quick Example of that right now. Um, let's just go future, that's fine, and let's look for great free apps. Okay, so we're gonna download one of these. I just want to show you that's all. Um, sure, let's just download Sketchbook. Why not? We just click on install app. Okay, okay, that way that this will um, actually do its thing, it's uh, much different. Okay, so the way that we will download this part is actually much, much different. Um, this you don't have to do basically anything. All you have to do is install, install app, put in your password, uh, make sure you have an Apple ID, or at this time you can actually create one for free. You just need a valid email. Okay, and that's about it. This is the easiest way because you're, you will see your app downloading. Okay. Um, if you go to your launch pad right here, I'm just gonna click on it, you're gonna see it downloading. And this will go straight to your apps, um, so you don't have to do anything. It's gonna download straight into your applications folder. So that way you just download it and that's it. And you can always view your apps here or in your applications folder again uh, to get there. Just going to find there and you're gonna see it applications there. You can always find applications up here, just typing in applications. Um, there's always a way around Mac to find things pretty easy um, as long as you spell it correctly right anyways um, once you are in this folder okay you guys will see the app that we just downloaded uh, here it is it downloaded already all we have to do is open it up um, I'm not gonna open it up right now I'm actually gonna show you how to delete in one second um, okay so let's say we downloaded something from Safari that's not from the App Store that you didn't have to drag and drop and it's packaged like this. All you have to do is double click on it, okay, and you should see something like this. All you have to do is through next, next, continue, I agree, sure, why not, um, install. Uh, here's the location. The location, automatically, it will go once again into here. You could change the location of any of your apps into, let's say, an external hard drive. That way you don't take up any space on your Mac itself. Um, if it's a fast external hard drive, it will run just as fast. Uh, right now it's done installing, so I just installed two programs right now. Here's Virtual DJ and here's Express. Now I'm going to delete them both. Now there's two ways of deleting, just the traditional way. Right clicking, move to trash, you can drag it to your trash bin. Or you can do it the more appropriate way, let's say. That gets rid of 100% of the files that are around. Sometimes when you install something, they just don't install here. Uh, you have links and stuff like that. Um, and files everywhere pretty much on your Mac when they are big programs, especially if something like Photoshop. So a program that I do like to use is AppDelete. 
okay there are other apps such as app delete but that's the one I prefer all you have to do is drag and drop up to there so I'm gonna delete them both right now although I haven't used them so I'm gonna choose this one this one I'm gonna drag them both onto app delete and that's how much pretty much how you uninstall things um, all you have to do is press delete okay and always remember to empty your trash bin if you don't empty it they're pretty much always there okay so we emptied it out and that's it uh, that's how you uninstall apps from your Mac and that's how you install them so in this one video you saw how you did both things if you guys have any questions comments please leave them here below and once again any problems anything to do with Mac products such as iPhones iPads anything just uh, write your comments right here below and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you